This video is a Mexi Global Beginner's Guide. Mexi is a crypto trading exchange for global and US users. We're gonna go through the entire system, how to get crypto on and off the platform, how to navigate the system, how to get set up, and then how to go and place some trades on this advanced trading screen. It looks complex, but it is the best way to trade because you get um, full control over your trades and you get cheaper trades on that screen as well. So I'll go over everything step-by-step step in this guide. I'll leave the timestamps to all of the different sections below. I'll also leave some links to Mexi as well well they often have sign up offers deposit bonuses and everything so i'll just leave that link below and you can see uh, what they have at the current time you're watching this first thing you can do is just set up the account and security so um, obviously come through to the website click sign up and then go through that for right now you don't need kyc to trade on the platform if you're just trading in crypto if you want to get fiat currency on you do need kyc so that's up to you um, obviously i'll leave the link below you can you know log in and, and sign up so what we want to do is actually come to your profile once you've signed up with your email and then come over to the profile right here and just set this up so the first thing we need to do is check the security preferences um, so what we can do is obviously click this and we need to uh, make sure that we have two-factor authentication in place. Now, I recommend Google Authenticator, so download the Google Authenticator app and then it will give you instructions to link that up. Every time you log in, you have to use your Google Authenticator code. They aren't linked and uh, it's just an extra security measure, so I really recommend that. The other thing we need is withdrawal settings. So if you go down to manage right here, I would add a withdrawal address as your whitelist. Now, this is a crypto address, so essentially what this does is uh, if you set up a withdrawal address, maybe that's your own wallet or another exchange, you can set that and confirm it. And then only withdrawals uh, will be sent to that address. And you can have many here, but this is essentially a safeguard if someone does hack into your account, um, they can actually only send crypto to the addresses that you've saved previously. And the only way you can change them is to your uh, through your 2FA as well. So um, you can set that up as you wish. The other thing that you may want to do is actually put your KYC info on the platform. If you do that, then obviously you can do different things like putting fiat currency onto the account. Um, so if you do primary KYC right here, you can either do primary or advanced and you get uh, higher limits. And with KYC, you can trade with fiat currency and put that on your account. If you don't have KYC, you can still trade on the system, but it's limited to crypto in and out. Before I show you an overview of all the wallets, we can actually get some fiat currency onto your account here. You do need KYC if you want to deposit fiat currency, but they allow US dollar deposits through the SWIFT network, or if you're in the States, they use Fedwire. Um, you do need KYC here. You can see you can choose USD, and then you choose one of these. Now you press continue right here, and what it's gonna do is essentially give you uh, two bits of information. One is their bank account that you have to send the wire to, and another one is uh, your account reference. So you have to include that reference with the payment when it comes from your bank um, so that they know which account to put it in. And obviously you have to wait for that to go through just like any other wire transfer, but you can just come up to buy crypto and then go to global bank transfer and it'll come through to this page and then it'll give you the information you need to input in your bank when you send the US dollars over. The other way to do it is through a debit or a credit card. This is easier, but it's a little bit more expensive. So I would try and not to do this. Um, you're gonna be paying about maybe 1.5 to 2.5 percent for using a card that's not just on mexi but that's on pretty much every exchange so let's say you want to add in an amount uh, what you can do here is press pay right here and then it says get right here so you can actually just switch it straight into bitcoin if you want again i wouldn't recommend this because it has much higher fees but you can choose us dollar tether if you want and so you have that us dollar tether stable coin on your account and you can see that if you pay 250 dollars you're getting 234 dollars so that is um, the fee that is charged by these third-party providers, uh, Simplex here, Banksia, the, these are uh, used by many different exchanges. They're absolutely fine to use. Um, you're just gonna have to pay a higher fee. So I wouldn't recommend this, but it is there as an option. Now I'll show you how to deposit cryptocurrency onto the platform. This is a way that you can use without KYC. So if you have crypto in a wallet or another exchange, um, obviously come through to your wallet right here. So up in the top, you can see wallet and then overview. That will take you through to this page. Uh, and then you wanna press deposit, which is up here, this green button. So we click deposit here. And this is a crypto deposit. Um, so what we can do is choose the asset that we want to deposit and they support virtually all currencies. So you know, if you wanna deposit in Bitcoin or something like that, um, or you know ETH, it's all here. So you can click that um, and then you'll see some different options right here. Now the deposit network's really important. Um, so the Ethereum network is expensive. Now if you use Binance or you know another exchange that actually supports the Binance Smart Chain, you can send over Ethereum using the BEP20 network. So for example, if you did have a Binance um, account, 
uh, they are they allow you to send Ethereum over their network, the BEP20 network. And so when you're withdrawing from Binance, you can just click to use the BEP20 Binance Smart Chain and not the Ethereum network. That's gonna drop your fee down from around $10 um, to somewhere around, let's say a dollar or way below. Um, so what we can see here is that you can click to generate the address. So I'm gonna do this right now, obviously go through this. Uh, now what you can see is I've got the address right here. Now what you can do is copy that uh, address and then obviously go through to your Binance account or crypto.com account. They actually also support uh, Binance Smart Chain and then uh, send the Ethereum over that specific network. If you need to know how to do that specifically, I've got some other specific guides on that that go through it in depth because you don't want to use different networks because if you use different networks either end, you're going to lose the crypto. So I'll link them in the description if you need a more in-depth guide. But essentially choose the address, choose the network on each of the uh, wallets or exchanges and that will come into your your Mexi account. Now, just a quick overview of your wallet before we get into the trading guide, you can do everything within the wallet itself. So this is what it looks like. Up in the top left, you can see the total balance that you have, and this is in Bitcoin, it's valued in Bitcoin. Um, on the right hand side, you can see it's valued in dollars as well. This will give you your asset allocation here for me. I've just got some USDT in the account. Now there's different accounts here. You have a spot account, fiat, margin, and futures. Spot account is the account where all of your crypto will go, uh, and that is cash settled. So if you have you know, $5,000 there, it'll show $5,000. If you have five different cryptocurrencies, um, that you've bought with you know, other crypto or the stable coins that you've uh, transferred on account, they will all be here. Uh, fiat account is just something that US dollars go to when you deposit fiat if it, if it goes in there. Margin account, we won't get on in this video, that's for separate videos and futures as well. So that's completely different trading futures and derivatives. So we won't get into that. But the main thing is if you want to transfer cryptocurrency between your accounts, you can do that. Uh, press transfer here. So I've got some uh, crypto in my spot account and I'm gonna transfer it over to the futures account. I can click the token, so USDT, press all. You can see I've got that and then transfer now. That is a free transfer within your account. It's just an internal account transfer that gets uh, crypto from one of the accounts that you might wanna use to the other. Uh, you can see the spot account. I've just got USDT here, but you can search if you have, if you have lots of, um, you know, cryptos in here and you have them, it will search for them all. You can see the options on the right hand side as well. So uh, with USDT, there's an earn option. So you can maybe um, stake it or get some savings interest um, that a lot of different uh, crypto exchanges will pay you. If you want to go into that, we'll get into that in a second. You can obviously deposit um, and withdraw here. So we'll click withdraw. Um, it's the exact opposite of the deposit. So choose the token that you want to withdraw. I've got USDT here. Then you need to go to your other exchange um, your all wallet provider and copy paste the address and you need to make sure that you're using the right network. So um, you can send it over many different networks. If you're using um, the Binance, you can use the Binance Smart Chain. TRC20 is a cheap network that people use to transfer USDT around. So there's many different ones. If you just choose the correct network, make sure you get the address in here and then click submit and then you can withdraw that to either another wallet or another exchange. Another important thing you might want to do is reduce your trading fees by paying with the, the exchange token, which is called MX. Um, so it says pay with MX to enjoy 20% to enjoy off trading fees. So I'd recommend just clicking that. Now you do need to buy MX. You can buy a small amount and just keep it on the account just to pay trading fees. Um, but you get a 20% discount further just by clicking that on. You can see the, the maker taker fees right here. This is the trading fee that you'd be paying when you trade is 0.16%. Now I'm gonna show you the trading screen and how to actually go ahead and enter some different trades. Um, come up to trade at the top and then click spot right here. It'll take you straight through to this screen. Uh, then you can go ahead and trade. It looks complex, but I'll go through everything here. Uh, like I said, MEXC do deposit bonuses and um, you know sign up offers. So I'll leave the link below. You can see what their offer is at the current time. Uh, but when you come through to this screen, um, it might be a bit confusing, but very simply up here, we have the crypto that we're trading. So if you've got some stable coins in your account that you wanna trade, you can obviously search for the crypto that you wanna trade up here. Um, so let's put ETH. Um, and then we want ETH USDT right here. So we don't want any of these. These are derivatives and other types of tokens. So you wanna steer clear of those, but ETH USDT. So this is the spot market right here. You can see up in the top left that it does show you that you've got the Ethereum market and it's uh, being quoted in US dollar tether, which is that stable coin that we have. We have the current price of Ethereum right here. And this is the change on the day. So it's up 2% in the last 
24 hours and then you have the high and the low over that day and the amount of volume traded across crypto so just some uh, important information there now obviously on the right hand side you know you you can look for many different types of uh, trading pairs so actually you can try a usdc if you you know have usdc and not usdt you can see eth usdc right here it's just ethereum quoted in a different stable coin um, but you can you know search all different pairs from this box right here um, so on the left hand side we have the order book um, so this is the actual live market in ethereum right now um, so this is what buyers and sellers are actually trading at this number in the middle is uh, the, where Ethereum is trading, so the actual price in the market. And then all of these below are essentially um, bids from buyers that are much lower than the current price. So they're obviously not gonna trade right now because their bids are lower than the current market price. And obviously these guys are trying to sell Ethereum higher than the market price, and so they're not going through. But you can see their trades and see the volume. This is just a typical order book and how it works. So really what you wanna do right here is check out the mid price if you're looking to buy. Now, you can actually use this system to bid lower when you wanna buy and offer higher if you wanna sell. Um, and you may get a, a better deal like that, but you may have to wait a little while for that trade to go through. So I'll show you how to input an order, what's called a market order on the system. This is when you uh, choose how much you want to trade, but you don't choose the price that you trade at. And obviously we have the chart right here, which you can change around as well that you might wanna do. So before I trade, I'll look at the one day chart. So I'll just click on this. So that's the one day. So obviously you can see over the last day, uh, over the last, what are the, is this, probably two months or so, price has been coming down. I'll also look at the one hour because this is telling me what's happened over the um, each hour. So each candlestick is one hour in length. So this is over the last few days rather than the last few months. And then even you might wanna go down to the 15 minute chart. So each candlestick now is 15 minutes. So this is giving me a price chart over the last, um, you know, probably 16, 18 hours, something like that. So just to see where the short term trade is, actually over the short term, it seems to be um, going upwards and over the longer term, um, it seems to be coming downwards. So obviously different time frames is gonna give you, um, you know, just a, a different view of what the price is doing. But a market order is very simple. If you're looking to buy, you can come down here and then go over to market. So what you can see is that you can uh, choose the amount that you trade. So you can put 500 in like this, or you can use a slider just to choose, you know, percent of how much you have on your account. And then the market order does not let you choose the price. So if you click buy right here, what will happen is the system will go on to uh, go on to the order book right here and just place a buy order at, for five hundred dollars at the best possible price. Now you won't be getting a great deal right here. I'll be trading around one one five six something like that. Um, what we can see in the middle. So you do not choose the price. So this is good to get things done very quickly and it's very simple. What will happen when you press buy ETH is that, or buy Bitcoin or whatever, it will come down here because it's a market order, it's, it's just gonna go through straight away. And so you won't see the order open. You will actually have to see order history and then trade history down here. It will be traded already for you. So you can just see um, the amount that you bought um, and then the price that it actually traded at for you. If you wanna get a better deal than that, you'll have to switch to a limit order. A limit order allows you to input the size and the price. So what you can see here is that I have got price, but I can't choose it. So I'm gonna switch over to limit order on the left-hand side, and now you can choose the price that you pay. So now what I'm gonna do is put a price in of 1,150 like this, and I'm gonna choose the amount uh, in dollars at 500. Now, what you can see is that my bid right here at, at 1150 is underneath the current price at 11.54. And so what's gonna happen is my order is gonna come onto this order book way down here uh, below all of these other bids because we're you know a bit away from the current price. Now we're not gonna trade straight away, but the order will be working for us. So the system will say, um, if the price of Ethereum gets to 11.50, your order is good and, and we're gonna trade it for you. So it will kind of save this order in the system. Press buy ETH and what will happen is um, let's just do this, I'm gonna do 1,000 right here, I'm gonna press buy ETH. Now what you can see is that we have an open order down here for us. It's a limit buy, but obviously our price at 1,000 is way below the current price, and so it's not gonna go through yet, but if the price does come down, our order will go through because it's on the book. Um, so that's all there and you can see all the information. Now if you wanna cancel this, just come over to the right hand side, uh, press cancel and then that order is gone for you. So limit orders allow you to hopefully get a little bit of a better trade, um, but they obviously won't go through until the price matches your order. 
Now I'll quickly show you how to navigate the charts on the system. So uh, Mexi use TradingView, which most top exchanges use. So if you come up to the chart here and just click professional, that is using the, using the trading view chart. Uh, on the left hand side, you have some indicators and some drawings right here. So if I just click on uh, this view to make it larger, on the right hand side, you can see FX. I know it's quite small, but if you click that, you can put different indicators on the chart. So I'll just show you how to put a moving average on the chart. So if you click once, and then twice, you can see up in the top left that the moving averages come up here. And if you go to settings, you can change the length. So I'm gonna change this to a 50 period moving average and then just change the style here to a thicker line uh, and then maybe have um, just a brighter color just to kind of put that on there and press OK. So you can change these around as you want. If you wanna know more about uh, technical analysis and putting lots of indicators on the charts as well, I'll, le I'll leave some uh, videos in the description for you that um, go through that more in depth um, as specific guides. Um, but you can use you know, indicators and also drawings. So I have a, a trend line here, so you can kind of draw the trend line uh, as you wish. If you wanna know how to draw trend, li trend lines, I'll leave that link in the description as well. But um, that is all there, so you can use the chart exactly how you want. If you put moving averages on there or anything else, it's the same as all other platforms. So you have all of the indicators there that you would want to use. Mexi also have an earn platform as well where you can actually invest some of the tokens that you have or at least um, participate in some of the staking rewards that they may pay. This is gonna be different depending on the token, um, what type of token it is and uh, if it gives staking rewards or um, if it's a staking product or a savings product. Um, but if you come up to earn right here, you can come over to the Mexi staking um, so we can come down to here to this one right here, which is staking. It will go through to this page here. So you can do locked staking. That means obviously you lock up the tokens for a certain period of time. You can see that uh, Polkadot, Ethereum, um, and some other proof of stake cryptos are here. Bitcoin is not a proof of stake, but obviously they lend it out or do other things. You can see it's sold out right now, so you can't use that one. But if you had Polkadot in here, um, you can press stake now. Um, and it will show you that you can get around 10 to 12% APY for the amount that you stake. So if you have Polkadot in your account, you can just come and you know, put an amount in that you have, um, read the um, you know, terms and conditions, obviously agree to them and press confirm and stake. Now, what you can see is that there's a lockup here. So the redemption date would be what in around, um, you know, a month's time or something like that. So you have to lock up the dot for a month and then you get this APY, which is a yearly APY. So if you had $100 in there, you'd get 10% on that if you locked it up for a year. So you'd obviously have to lock it up for 30 days, 12 times to get that. Um, that's just done as an annual uh, amount. Um, but you can see which cr uh, cryptocurrencies are supported here. Flexible staking is different. Obviously, there's no lockup. So choose uh, a lot more different cryptos. So for example, US dollar tether is paying 2% as a flexible stake right now. So if you have US dollar tether in your account anyway, you're not trading, that can be flexible. Press trade right here. Um, and you know you can um, essentially unlock it um, instantly uh, or maybe wait a few days to actually get that unlock. Just uh, agree to the terms and conditions, press confirm and stake. So that's a flexible token. Uh, yield will accumulate after one days, but you can take it out, right? Flexible staking can be canceled at any points of time. So uh, good to differentiate between flexible and locked. Um, but staking, obviously, if you've got cryptos in your account anyway, um, then you might want to stake them either in the flexible or the locked staking option. I'll leave the link to Mexi in the description. Like I said, they have sign up offers and deposit bonuses. So you can see what the best offer is at the time uh, that you're watching this by clicking that link in the description. If you need some extra helpful uh, trading tutorials, I'll leave them all in the description as well. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.